Music Channel. And in this video here, I will be showing you how to edit photos as a beginner in Lightroom Classic. Okay, so basically, you can do, you can either use presets to fix your photos, which I would suggest, because you want to put them to your taste or what you think may be the correct way. So you can use the presets on the left, you can use presets which are not presets you can use to do it your own way all right so i will collapse all of these and then show you what categories you can do with it okay so these are the category categories on your right and it goes as basic tone curve hsl and color color grading detail and sharpening lens correction transform effects and calibration so you can just basically fix this right here with the basics so we're going to choose a photo just for reference of the video let's choose she was another lady with another one so we're going to choose that one let's choose this one i'm going to right here we choose this one here all right, so we can basically just start with that. I'm going to show you before and after as well. So the first thing we're going to start with is we're going to correct the temperature. But first of all, keep this in mind. The rule of thumb is you're supposed to take photos in the golden hour. If you're taking it with a DSL or a camera or a mirrorless camera, four frame camera, like that. Now, cell phones, the sensors are not nowhere near as big as in a digital camera of course we know that well some know that so let me get started anyway so this is the before and i noticed some changes need to be made and you will see what changes i make so i'm gonna start on the side over here so the first thing i'm gonna start with i'm gonna make it which is not bad anyway i had to put my nd filters on because it was bright and the nd filters make a huge difference so we're gonna start with i'm gonna raise the temperature just a tad remember if you want to just get an idea you can just, just take it and you go all the way over and all the way to the right so i'm talking about but start with start in the middle this is just starting point <clears throat> okay so you barely have to, have to touch any of this really and what i mean by barely touch you don't really gotta go crazy with it so we don't want to lift her up a little bit we'll lift her highlights up here so we want to go over the exposure and lift it up just a little bit okay so we're going to go the highlights maybe that way i got it okay shadows okay we got everything clarity make this a little bit yeah b haze you gotta make it brighter or you can make it a little bit there vibrancy of course you know that changes the whole vibrance of the i'm sorry that's the saturation vibrance is what changed the back and the mid tails and all that see Bruh. Look too vibrant we don't want to go too vibrant so we'll go right here again i'm ready to saturation i'm just where i got it there all right so now I think I want to go a little bit warmer with the temperature right there. And I want to bring the exposure up just a little time more. Right there. Okay. So I'm finished with the basics. I'm going on the curves. Now the sharpening, the amount of sharpening. This don't really need to be sharpened. So there's no noise reduction. We can go, we can, we can reduce that noise reduction song. So we can go, we're gonna make it big so you can see exactly what's going on. So, noise reduction, we can raise it, lower it a little bit. Here, notice if we go here, see, so we're gonna. We don't want to go too crazy with it and you can always reset this just by double clicking right there 
Okay, so we're gonna go to about right. So notice you see a little bit of noise here and there, but as I go over, that's gonna be but you don't want to make it too smooth we we'll have it looking artificial okay right there detail if you want to restart that just double click there and start in the middle go this way you don't lose notice the higher her face getting blurry go this way it's going to correct it up where it should be right there color goes you over we're gonna go over this way here though. Alright. Detail is just exactly what it means, detail. It brings out all the details in the plants and all that stuff. And just and all that. So the more is this so you can double click it if you mess up. Go back to the middle. Hope we're gonna go over a little bit. Here. Smoothness. I usually leave this alone, but I'm going to show you what that do. Go all the way up to the right. You can see that kind of fuzzy, not fuzzy like. And then you go over here. That smooths it out. You want to keep that around default, to be honest. So we'll go back. So we we'll say So you can choose a reference point, actually, to see changes in if you don't want to use this. So we'll come out of this. And now we're going to let's go into the link corrections. Now that's too complicated for y'all for beginners, even though I'm a beginner, I know how to do that part. Look at the transform, look at the effects. Well we can do the calibration. Let me move myself out the way by the way. I'm move myself somewhere. On the side, since we ain't using this, now I'll show you. So, the land corrections you can see. So, if you got a Sony, so I got a Sony, so you can check this, check both of these, and choose your camera. And mine is a Sony. I click Sony. All right, and notice it'll tell you if you look up here at the top, I'll show you later on in the video, it'll show you what f stop that you shot it in and everything and you can change your profiles with this little click button here if and you can already have it preset but this is preset so you can change the distortion the vignetting and all that if you want to use your camera profile or you can do a manual so i choose to do a manual so the distortion which don't barely need to be touched i put a little bit of vignette in it and I blow it back out so I can see the entire picture. Put a little bit of vignette in there. And if you put a lot, so you notice it see so you notice the curl come around. I see that that's too much highlight. So you wanna just barely touch this. Just barely touch it. Midpoint. You don't want to have it overexposed, so you can bring that down a little bit. My right there. Keep in mind, you gotta have a pretty decent uh, graphic card. You don't gotta have no crazy high dollar one though. But uh, choose your edge of software based on your uh, PC specifications or your laptop specifications. So we can basically come out of that there and let's go to details and let's go to here let's go to let's go to the the tent that the primary and the green primary and we're going to touch it up a little bit so i'm bringing that red out and adjust a little bit see if i take it over that way it'll bring it out I'm gonna bring it over just to the tag here. Just to the tag right there. And the green, I'm gonna bring the green out in the picture just a little bit. Plants and stuff around. And notice my grandson over here. <laughs> By the way, that's crazy, right? Okay, so, okay, now, 
we're gonna go on to fire the calibration go back up now keep no watch and i'm gonna show you the before and after on this real quick so i'm gonna move myself back over here and we're going now this is the before and after toggle right here we're going to toggle that's before now look i'm gonna make it big that's before notice a lot of work need to be done that way and this is the after and i barely touched this so i can actually work on the hat this i'm i want to bring more contrast on this door right here so I can go back up and just go to the basics. Hit on contrast, click back out, click up, go where the door is. Bring that contrast. Now, that's the little tab right there. And there it is. Contrast on that door was dark, but everything else was dark. You wanted to bring up the mid tones in the picture. And that's exactly what I've done. Now, I couldn't get into it more than that, but I want to make this video, I don't want to make this video too long. But you can see the before and after right now. That's before and after. Okay, let's choose one more picture. And that's going to be all, it's real simple. Uh, if you want a part two where I go into more detail on the color grading, just leave it down in the comments and I will do but I am a beginner at this and this is what I use to edit my photos now keep in mind this is a JPEG the best way to edit a photo is you take the raw you got raw you can take JPEG JPEG got all the information you can edit it but it's limited the raw got it just look flat looking and you can really dial that in exactly how you want it all right so that's going to be all for this video i appreciate you uh visiting my channel if you like more content like this and me to do another part to it just leave it in the comments don't forget to hit the subscribe button and that'll be all you'll have a plus one until next time peace